All right, happening right now, the city of Kirkland hosting a free catalytic converter etching event. Yeah, so Fox 13's Brisa Mendez is in Kirkland with what exactly they're doing there. Brisa, good morning. Good morning, China and John. I'm out here with Joshi Howie. He is an instructor for the class today. Can you tell me a little bit about what the important is for today? So today we're having a collaboration with KPD. We've done this last year once and it's kind of become a thing now. So catalytic converters have been a big issue of being stolen off of vehicles where thieves would come and literally cut them off in a matter of a minute or two. And then they're off on their way making the big bucks and the owners are left with a hefty bill for the repairs. So that's what we're trying to do today is etch these catalytic converters and hopes to prevent and deter these thefts. Why do they attract to the metals? So the catalytic converters have really, really precious metals in them, which go for a lot of money in the market. Usually not from licensed recyclers, but somewhere where they can go and get these quick cash. And it gives them a lot of money in the pocket. Mm -hmm. So these are out there cutting these cats away. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many people are expected to attend today? Today we're looking at, I believe, 90 plus. I think on the list we had about 96. So last time it's it was probably doubled in numbers from last year. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am also with Kirkland Police Officer Tuam Lee. Can you tell me a little bit about the impact of this around the community? Yeah, we are seeing this. This is nationwide. And so in our community, we wanted to make sure that there was something that we could do. Oftentimes what we're seeing is somebody's reporting a theft of a catalytic converter, and then we have no way of tracing that or giving it back to the person if we do find it. So the idea here is we're basically creating a serial number for the catalytic converter so we can enter it in our national database as stolen. And then if we find it, um, we're able to get it back. What's a huge tip for vehicle owners out there? Uh, so do your research and find out whether or not your catalytic converter is easily accessible. That's one thing. And then the other part is if you can participate in something like this or you have a local mechanic that you'd like to use to etch something in there, we're happy to take a phone call, direct you in that way, but doing something to deter theft. Is there anything else that is important that the public No. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Is there anything else that you want to add? If you have a catalytic converter that's easily accessible, there are a bunch of shields, cables that you can purchase online, have them installed by your local mechanic. It, again, helps to deter these thieves to have, in hopes to just not have your catalytic converters cut off. Okay. Mm -hmm. The event today will start at 9 a.m. through 3 p.m. Reporting live in Kirkland, Bruce Mendes, Fox 13 News, back to the studio.